Hello everyone, welcome to a daily run with Samson, and me, if it ever starts. Thank you. That was supposed to be a smooth introduction while everything happened all at once. I was talking, it was playing, and I was in the right position in my speech to actually have begun talking about the run when the run began, but in fact what happened was, it paused for no real reason. Probably because I'm uploading two videos at once. Uh, I'm having... Well, I'm gonna... Diplomatically called teething troubles with a new piece of software that I'm using for uh, rendering videos. Trying out various techniques, but basically what keeps happening is I keep failing to do it correctly and leaving artifacts of the uh, recording process or just uploading terrible videos, things like that. Uh, and I think I've got a mind out now. Basically, I've been taking cues off of James because James suggested it. Uh, and he seems to know what he's doing. Hello, close. Ah, uh, very close. Um, but yeah, everything's doing okay now. We have got a key, and we do have enough money to maybe buy a spirit heart. But this is cell of one. We are going to the mom fight. God, I hate this room already. And we are Samson now. Samson, his damage is not the the greatest. But if you can take constructive damage, which is usually, as we've seen before, uh, an ivy bag or a blood bank, or maybe a just demon judgment, something like that, his bloody lust starting item does allow him to get pretty strong pretty quickly for the floor. You have to be able to find that, uh, well, that option. I don't know what this does, so I'm going to take it anyway. Evil up, it's just evil. I don't know. Maybe it causes more demon hearts to drop? That would be nice. We do want to maybe um, get a deal with the devil if we can manage it. Oh, that was pretty poor. I probably should have just used that on the uh, on the boss, to be fair. But I wanted the spirit heart. Maybe we can find a bomb just by doing some more of this floor. But since we are only going to the mom fight, we do want to make sure we get to boss rush. Uh, and at this level of damage at the moment, not looking entirely likely. We're going to want to power ourselves up to as great an extent as possible, as quickly as possible. There is a bomb available. Ooh, infinite bombs. That is very lucky from that drop. Obviously, it's very lucky for everybody. Ooh. Yeah, I kicked that out of the way because I realised the bomb rock was likely to cause us damage, so... Managed to get the right play out of that. We did find our secret room, but now we can look for our super secret room without really feeling guilty about the number of bombs that we're using. Which was right here, first guess. No, pretty bad. I am going to go to the cursed room, and I'm thinking maybe I should have done this with the red hearts rather than the black hearts. So it's, it's paid for itself quite literally, because we don't even get the benefit of this black heart, which is a shame. Uh, I might as well go here. We do have three keys. Mom's key. Oh, now I'm tempted to go and fight this other room over here. See if we can get some more cash. Six cents is a tall order from one room, but it, all it takes is one nickel and a random penny drop. It's not unlikely. We do have, um, we do have the bombs necessary to check all these pots. If we so do so. We might as well use bombs offensively as well. There's a penny right there. Right there! I mean, Northern Lion, you've ruined me. I can't hear the phrase right there without hearing Northern Lion repeat it. Wow, this thing is still alive. Normally these things charge you down so fast. Can't do shit about it. There must be a spider somewhere. Yeah, here it is. There is, of course, a chance that we get um, a quarter out of these pots. Didn't happen. There was a chance, though. That is a truth fact. I'm going to uh, go to the effort. Mom's key would be great pickup because... Oh, that's not even a pot, so don't blow it up. Reason being, the amount of extra stuff that we can get from chests from it, from Mom's Key, stupendous. So, gonna spend a little bit more time. Five minutes on the first floor is not the best, but ooh, don't want spiders. Uh, it looks like it's not to be, but you know we tried. That's what counts. So it's not what counts. What counts is succeeding. But we tried, and that's what we did, so... There you go. Oh well. We'll move on. We're 
fairly likely to get a deal with the devil on the next floor, which will at least make us strong. But what it won't do is give us all the super points. Oh, we haven't got infinite bombs anymore, so we shouldn't be using them like this. Uh, we haven't got infinite bombs anymore. We haven't got... Mom's key was going to be basically our points generator for this baby run here. You know what? Thank you. Glad that that didn't produce even more spiders from the pots. I was hoping it would produce at least some money from the pots, but not producing spiders is almost as good. Oh, it's not even a... Oh, what is happening? <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, God. Help. Oh, this is terrible. This is a bad situation. Just leave. Just leave! Well, having them both spawn enemies is pretty bad, but having them spawn enemies that didn't move out of the way of the door, which is what you usually expect those enemies to do, is worse. Well, we took some damage, and it's real damage, not constructive damage, but, but at least we're now... Ugh. We are now in the sort of bloody lust state of having a couple of extra strengths to us. I'm quantifying things that are not quantifiable. That's not good grammar. Don't do that. All right, let's uh, let's wander on here. The extra strength to us is going to allow us to get through these rooms a little bit more quickly, and hopefully mitigate some of the chance that we would have had to take damage on them because we haven't picked up. Uh, an upgrade of any real description at all yet. The uh, evil up from the matchbook. God knows what that does. <laughs> Basically, maybe it increases your chance at deal with the devil rather than angel, but not the chance that the door appears in the first place. Who knows? We haven't got uh, an actual strength upgrade. It's the haunt, which is not ideal. But we can get rid of the first stage using a cunning bomb. Ooh, careful. We could allow ourselves to get hit and try and get Smart Fly to do the work for us. Uh, that wasn't brilliant, but we got rid of one of them. Which We did get hit. I didn't allow myself to. It was a pure accident, but hit we got. So this fight is time-bound for the Haunt. The Haunt has got limited lifespan, irrespective of whether we shoot it. Uh, we'll get that on the way out. Yes. I'm very glad I left that behind, because here's what we want to do now. We want to make sure to die on purpose. How? Probably constructively. Maybe there's a cursed room. Or some other way we can hurt ourselves for, for value. Like this. We are blessed, but that doesn't really help. Uh, no no noticeable tinted drops, but you can see our damage has gone up. Now we'll see how this affects. We see what our real damage is when we go down to the next floor and reset our bloody lust bonus, but the damage bonus you get from being Dark Judas is very good. We do still keep bloody lust. Oh, there's only one button. Uh, so even though we're not Samson, we still get the bonus from having been Samson. Which I think is excellent. In some situations, like um, Lilith, for example, you start with an Incubus. If you don't have the Incubus item, so if you respawn as Dark Judas in that situation, range up is fine. If you respawn as Dark Judas or, or even respawn as Lazarus or something, as Lilith, you lose the Incubus. But you also lose the blindfold, so you can shoot. So, uh, no. I'm not going to take Bumbo because it costs us points to take Bumbo. But it also costs us points every time Bumbo takes a coin. Which is not my favourite for a daily. Look all this stuff though. There you go. Wow. Something killed that and it wasn't me. We did find the secret room though. More by luck than judgement. But I'll take it. You know? I'm going to look a gift horse in the mouth. Or anywhere else. That phrase apparently... I mean you think the phrase means... It might bite you. You, know, you stare a horse in the mouth, it might bite you. You know, you don't want to get bitten by a gift, you shouldn't be so ungrateful. It's not what it means. Oh, we'll go in here. To hell with it. Um, what it means is from the fact that a gift, a horse, is. You can tell the quality of a horse by looking at its teeth. So that's one way that it used to. You know, it's like biting a coin. 
Not that that was ever a real thing. I'm not sure if biasing a coin is a real thing, but my point is looking a horse in the mouth is a real thing. And it's a way of testing whether the horse is, you know, past its prime or something. And if you look a gift horse in the mouth, what you're doing is being ungrateful. You're just saying, oh, nice horse. Is it worth anything? Oh, it's, it's a horse, man. It was a gift. You didn't pay for it. You're not being hoodwinked. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Don't try and figure out the value of a gift. It's, it's rude. I don't know if that's an English thing. Do they do that on the continent? Do they leave the tickets on, the you know price tags on them? Do they keep the receipts and all that sort of thing? We have gift receipts now. So that you can uh, take back a present that you're ungrateful enough to keep. Or too ungrateful to keep. Uh, I think it's fair enough. No curses suits me to a T. And I will do this. I wanted to get a uh, nickel out of that shopkeeper, which unfortunately we did not. Because I'd like to be able to pick up a spirit heart before we go to the boss here. We've got plenty of HP and we've got plenty of damage, which is the important thing here. Um, respawning as Dark Judas is usually a good idea. That's definitely a super secret room, so apparently the explosion radius on Bob's rotten head is shit. But it's nice to have a little bit of you know, assurance in your HP having. Look how much damage we're doing to this Polycephalus, which appears to be a champion version, but I don't know in what respect it's a champion. We'll take this now, and we will... Ooh, this is a good situation. If we take nine lives, we get our HP back, and then we can take Ceremonial Robes, which is an excellent damage upgrade. Do we want to do anything else here? No. It's an excellent damage upgrade, and it gives us three Spirit Hearts, and obviously keeps our... HP down to zero, which could be useful in the future. Um, but right now, I'm just super happy to have this much damage as, you know, Dark Judas. Please don't go over there. I did not. Let's try this again. We've got so much HP. Uh, I'm kind of hoping for Small Rock, to be fair. Having any more HP than we currently have, it's not really going to help, if I'm being honest. I mean, it will help in the literal sense. We will have more HP and therefore be able to take more hits. But it will not help as much as having a damage upgrade like Small Rock. Just look how much damage we're doing to the Haunt compared to just two floors ago. We do have to get a little bit of a press on because we're more than halfway towards boss rush. But The reason I say that is not because we're falling behind on time. But knowing me, we will soon be falling behind on time. Because I will think that we're not falling behind on time. And then we will. So I'd like to be out here, you know, with... 13 minutes, so we've got to go really fast. We've still got two floors left, is what I'm saying. We want to be in the Necropolis 2 by 16 minutes at the most. Uh, the, sun. the sun is basically exactly what we need in order to facilitate this arrangement. Not an arrangement, that's a different thing entirely. Oh, bad damage. Bad dodge, to be fair. Kill this thing and remember to get out of the way of its thing. We do have Smart Fly, which crops up whenever we get hit and just flies around aggroing things and doing damage to them. It's really good, but because it only shows up when you get hit, it obviously has limited usefulness. It's difficult to argue that something that works when you don't get hit is worse than something that only works when you do get hit. Because you obviously have to get hit. I don't want to get hit. Uh, we do want to go up there, kind of dithering about a little bit, getting all my directions wrong, but we're doing so much damage we can probably go really fast here. I was saying the other day when we did that one daily which I failed at completely. Oh, 2020. Didn't even notice what the other item was. I was so happy to get 2020. Look at this shit. We're out of control. Someone stop me. Hold me back. Um, that I'm trying to focus less... Oh, shoot down, not Trying to focus less on doing exploration. Exploration of the floor. Why did I buy a spirit heart? We don't need that. Is not remotely as valuable as speed, because we always need to get to boss rush on every single daily in order to compete. Um, at least against everybody else who managed to get to boss rush. Ah, uh, so having the sun card tell us exactly where to go shows us exactly which rooms we don't need to explore. We can see that there's no boss trap or mob trap room, so we're not losing out on points there. Uh, I want to get rid of this because it might spit at me in a horrible way. Oh, you missed. Never mind. Bob's Rotten Head is the space bar item that we have been blessed with on this entire run. I consider it to have basically no value. Except 
in some situations where you don't want to use a bomb or you wish you had a bomb. Similarly lead to Abel, basically no value, except Abel is almost literally no value, whereas Bob's Rotten Head. It's a reusable bomb, so if you want to make sure that you have bombs you can aim, you can use this bomb that you can't aim to do something. Like find a super secret room, which we tried to do on the other floor, but because we uh, couldn't actually do that. <laughs> Concentrating there. Uh, because we failed to do that, it was a bit of a whiff, but okay. Uh, left a cube. Coin behind. I'm sure we'll go back for it. 14 minutes is okay, I think. For this level of the game. Our room clearing speed is outrageously good. But our walking speed may be a limiting factor here. Oh my goodness. Uh, as probably notable there, I think maybe our speed didn't allow me to do the dodgy dodge that we needed to do to avoid being shot by those bonies that fire three shots and then explode at you. So, thinking maybe we could have done better there. Keys are coming at a suitable rate. The relic will keep us alive for the entire run, basically, so now we don't need to worry about anything ever again. The chances of us taking damage faster than the relic can produce uh, spirit hearts is almost negligible, at least at this stage. If we can get past the mom fight, which is obviously something we're looking to do, presumably by um, finding super secret rooms and getting an AWAS room. I'm holding on to the blank room, by the way, because if it turns out to be the AWAS room when we use it, that's going to be super good. We don't know what it's going to be when we use it, but there's a chance it becomes the AWAS room. Oh, we put a secret room. I'll, uh, I'll bomb my way out. But I took damage on the way in because I hadn't realised. <laughs> it's a bit of a silly misplay. Very um, very unprofessional error, but again, I suppose I'm not professional, so that's fine. So, it be so. Our uh, walking speed, once again, is going to make this room a little bit of a pain to deal with. Hopefully we get an upgrade from our boss. It's not often you actually ask for a speed upgrade from a boss. Usually you want something that's actually going to upgrade you in a more palpable respect. But uh, I think in this situation, a speed upgrade would be ideal. There we go. Chariot card could be good for us. We have an Are You a Wizard pill. Not going to help at all. A Relax pill, a Power pill. Bad gas is fine. And speed down, I will not take a second one. Uh, chariot and Power pill are probably equivalent. Actually, the Chariot does not cause things to run away. I'm not going to use either, because our tears are so good. Oh, right. Even with Are You a Wizard, apparently, our tears are great. If the uh, wall would stop fucking flying around like this. You dick. All you've done is made me stronger. You strike me down, now I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. Um, Fall of Bandages is nice. It's probably Krampus Fight. It is a Krampus Fight. Just as I would have liked to be able to use Are You a Wizard to shoot at an angle. <laughs> Krampus decides... No, Kramp when Krampus comes to it decides to end. So... We'll get this. Uh, oh, stuck. That's close. Got a lump of coal. Um, that's another good damage upgrade. And we're out of this floor not quite fast enough as I'd like. If that is a legitimate sentence in this language, which we all speak. Um, especially when you've got rooms like this, which make you wait. I don't mind taking damage there because it enabled us to finish the room with some uh, efficacy. $3 bill. Sure. Which makes things weird, but not too weird. There is... Interesting. Very interesting indeed. There is a self-sacrifice room. We cannot find... Uh, what's going on with our tears right now? If we cannot find a teleport card... Can I have this? Thank you. To get out of boss rush after we've beaten boss rush, we will not be doing boss rush. I would rather spend more time... In then it takes like rather spend so long looking for a teleport card that we miss boss rush than avoid the opportunity to use the self sacrifice room. Basically, we are using the self sacrifice room, no questions asked because this is the exact time to use it, right? <sighs> what is this nonsense? Um, it's just before the last floor of the game of this particular... Oh, dear. 
this particular run anyway. We have wasted a little bit of HP, but that's fine too. Um, so if we can't get out of boss rush, we will not do boss rush. Because it's much more valuable to teleport to the next floor there than to than not <laughs> have the option of getting in there at all. Um, so, exploding skulls, I guess, is going to be our, mm, get our play for today. I've kind of forgotten how to speak the language. Because I'm panicking a little bit to try and get through these rooms and try to even find that teleport card that we're going to need. Is this one? Hanged Man, it's not a teleport card. Might as well keep the uh, blank rune here. There's not much opportunity to find uh, a card at all, which is a bit unfortunate. There's a boss trap rune, which we should be able to do reasonably quickly. Oh, incidentally, I just took the jar of flies. I think we saw that yesterday or the day before. Very recently, anyway. Chariot. Chariot doesn't give us anything. This bomb here. Kill this joker. Infamy is fine. Yeah, jar of flies is a really strong item, I think. Uh, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> also, it doesn't do anything for us. So, we are not going to be doing the mom fight or boss rush. So, I'm not going to worry about the fact that we're late for it because we can't get out which is a shame honestly I don't think I even found a way out in the whole game so we'll do this instead a coin I would have liked to have found something like um pair throw it's a pair throw we got another one would have liked to have found something um like the perks so that we could have played this a little bit more efficiently, because this is costing us 1 HP each time we do it. And what it's done so far is bless us. We have got 9 lives, but remember that if we die to the last play that teleports us, uh, <laughs> that's it. The game crashes. Ooh, I haven't seen this for a long time. So, Crown of Light Pretty good item. What's Crown of Light do? Well. Oh, this is not what we want to see. If you haven't taken damage and you have full red HP. It, uh, in a room. You get a massive damage Perth upgrade. Roll. It is Perthro. I did not expect that, but there you go. How about another one? Another Perthro. Okie dokie. Another Perthro? No, nah, Hagalaz. Okay. Take fighting, baby. Well, here's hoping that we teleport. We did teleport. <laughs> this is worrisome. Allow me to guzzle from my glass of natural lubricant, which we call water. Uh, I'm not a fan of this combination of... <laughs> oh, good. A uh, $3 bill. Range up is cool. Speed down is not... All right, let's go. We are actually pretty powerful. Um... If we can survive the damage that we take, which we should be able to, because look how much HP we've already got, and all these flies, we need to pick up a red heart, um, then each time we get hit, as long as that's okay, we're actually going to do way more damage than we have been doing before we got hit. I mean, I think the uh, the economy works such that we'll be doing sufficiently more damage. I think it scales, basically. We're doing a lot of damage already, and I think that Bloody Lust is going to cause us to do even more damage. We might as well fight the lamb now, because we've just managed to get uh, Crown of Light active. You can see it's glowing on our head now. Until we get hit, we're going to have a great damage upgrade. Oh, I got hit by that thing, because I couldn't see where I was amongst all that bullshit. Uh, that was not great either. Whatever. And now we've got fucking... Look. <laughs> $3 bill is a pretty interesting item. It does cause you to have random tear effects. But whenever it turns your tears into... What's it called? With the exploding tears. Not explosivo. You know what I'm saying. And then it blows up in your face and you go, Oh, God. A, there goes holy light. A holy crown for that room. And B... Uh, pardon me. How long... Where did that... I can see a spirit heart and no one told me about it. There you go. 
So this is good. We can explore this floor, absolutely. It's only a 22 minute run, so we should be good. Uh, our rank should be good for time, I think. And I'm hoping that this choice that we made to teleport to the dark room here instead of doing the mom fight and boss rush was actually the right one. Now, I would not be surprised if there was a teleport card somewhere and I just didn't find it by not exploring enough. But we went so... F we tried to bomb it through the floors, basically, so fast in order to try to get to boss room. Now, realise, of course, that if you can get to boss rush with a teleport card, as long as you get lucky on the direction that you travel, you don't really need to worry about the entirety of the floor of the Necropolis 2. So, it could be worth doing the diligence to find an item that gets you out of boss rush. Just so that you can continue the floor after you've beaten boss rush. The Necropolis 2. We didn't do that. We went for getting there. Which we did. We could have got to boss rush if we'd wanted to. If we'd decided that it was worth more to get to boss rush and fight it than to try and teleport, then we could have gone to boss rush. I chose this path and there's a very strong uh, points bonus. Oh shit! <laughs> I wondered what was happening. I thought I'd just been cursed with even more slowness for some reason. Nope. Looking for the secret room in case you're wondering. I think that the the amount of damage we've taken on this floor is essentially negligible. Look how much more damage we're doing already. Firemind, that's what's pissing me off right now. There we go. I wanted to stop shooting whilst Firemind was active, just in case the stain popped up and immediately caused us a, an explosion. Uh, unfortunate situation. We've taken very little damage on this floor, and every time we do take damage, our damage goes up. So it causes us to take less damage. Again... Uh, which... Where am I going? Over here. You know, it's, it's working out. Oh, jeez. <laughs> the only time I've taken damage mostly is because of fire mine. The lamb hit us a couple of times. There we go. Super greed. Took no time at all. I think this is actually a uh, good idea. Although, maybe I don't want to spend five points to get three points. That seems like a, a bad idea. There's the Emperor card, which... We use now. Save ourselves a lot of backtracking and finish the run. I think we did quite well there. 138. That's actually really good, although considering that we went ballsy on that teleport thing uh, and actually got really well um, treated when we landed because we got four spirit hearts immediately, which makes up for a lot of the damage we spent teleporting in the first place. That's a pretty good score, but 138, that means a lot of people have done that. Uh, but, you know, kudos to them. They must have taken less damage, maybe gone a bit faster, maybe also managed to do boss rush, which... Maybe there are some people up there who did do boss rush. Let's have a look at the scores. Uh, global. Jekri's, um actually doing really well. I haven't checked their progress recently, but... Um, yeah, they seem to have made a, a great, great amount of progress in their Isaac career. So there's people with 52, 40,000. These seem like legit numbers. Um, and that seems like what happens if you manage to do what we did, plus fight boss rush, plus not take a shitload of damage, maybe actually manage to find a way to get mom's key uh, on that first floor, get a lot of more swag bonus. But anyway, I don't know what they did. Kudos to them for managing it, and uh, if you played it, I hope you did well too. And I hope you enjoyed watching me play it. If you did, do feel free to leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter, and I'm just making a Facebook page now, so if you want to learn about future episodes of future series, it'll be there. But for now, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.